has Karja mismanagement stamped all over it. Is that the savior of Meridian? Can we have a word? Ah, savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. No one wants to play some strike? Back lockdowns and drag. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baron Light. Three months. Almost four. Drunk? Last time I was back, he'd already started. I'm drunk? And I missed it. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no. You blow the whistle now. 
These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The Bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Boy, flag! No, not you again. Hello! Now the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. I've heard of your adventures. can help brought out only the good stuff for you red see it as you got that whistle blowing hey I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days you haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks though have you take your time I promise you won't be disappointed come back anytime now can I get this fixed I can fix your tools I'm afraid there's no fixing you. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I've cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, Wadis. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done. The embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Right. Or poke around the Donald some more first. Armor.
even the savior of Meridian needs a challenge. Hey, Louis. Play some strike. Back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. How I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talon. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carger refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carger for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for... what, exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Tolan Cleanbroker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Talon works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Talon scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. Petra said Talon has a shop here in Chainscrape. I could have a word with him first. Sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! <sighs> Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just not! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents 
isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So, she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. How's the hunting and gathering going, Red? Getting there. What can I do for you? I'll be on my way. Don't be a stranger! Faster if I had a charger to override.
There's a horn. Got a horn. I should have enough charger horns for Dylan Boomer now. Just need a little bit from that thing horn they were talking about. Machines resistant to fire. There's the Fanghorn. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. be able to harvest it. Got everything I need for Dell and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. <laughs>
Better leave this mount outside. got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba-boom! <laughs> <laughs> 